हे आर्टिस्ट वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल शालू सिंह आर्ट सो दिस इज द क्लास ऑफ बेसिक वाटर कलर कोर्स एंड इन दिस क्लास वी गुन लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू मेक क्लाउड इन द लास्ट लेसन वी हैव लर्न दैट वॉट इज फ्लैट वॉश एंड ग्रेड इन वॉश सो इफ यू वॉन वॉच आउट इट दैन क्लिक ऑन द आई बटन और यू कैन गेट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो Okay so I take a handmade paper of Bristol brand and divide it into two parts and I fix it on easel stand you can take any flat cardboard if you don't have easel stand but yeah as I told you in the last class don't put the paper at flat always put it at the 30 to 45 degree for more information you can watch my last video So first I give in the water wash while I am applying water remember not to apply too much pressure otherwise the paper fibers may come out this will not be visible to you now it will be visible when you color so now I am applying purple color I already have made it Now I'm making it a little darker by mixing ultramarine blue and crimson red in it. So you might be seeing that the strokes are flowing with water. Why is this happening? This is happening because I have taken too much water. Okay, there was already water on my paper. After that, I added more water to the color, and that's why this is happening. So this is what I wanted to show you. What mistakes do beginners make in the beginning? So you don't have to make these mistakes at all. Now, do you see how I color? So first, I'll give water wash. and then i'll give a gradient wash with purple color to give it a little nicer look i'm going to add a bit of yellow to it just a little bit will make you feel that yes there is something yellowish Now I'll take a little bit of color and add ultramarine blue and crimson red to it. But I'll not use water at all. I'm going to make a very thick color here because my paper already has water on it. So if I add more water to it, it will spread like this. Okay. Now I apply strokes. You see my hand. How I'm moving my hand. you will also have to have some flexibility in your hands because you are a beginners and you will have to practice a little so you see as if the strokes were spread and this they are not spreading in it the reason i have told you is because i have not taken much water in it okay and you can see how the wide look is coming One more thing to keep in mind as I told you is that if you work with too much water your strokes will get spread but if you work in less water then your strokes will become very sharp so don't do this you don't have to work even on a very dry surface what happens with this is that your strokes will appear different which will not give realistic result at all and this will happen only when you bring a little speed in your work if you work slowly your paper will dry out so your strokes will look different they will appear very sharp which will not give your drawing a realistic look at all so for this you will have to practice in winter you get a little more time to work in water because it doesn't dry as quickly in winter but if you working in summer the water will dry very quickly so for this you will have to work very fast so keep this in mind 
so today's class ends here i hope you might have liked it you might have got to learn something new i try to explain you with my best efforts whatever i teach you no one will teach it to you for free no one will explain it to you the way i do on my channel so if you like this video then like the video and if you want to be a professional artist then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so see you in the next class till then bye bye and take care